Hey guys, George here from georgehealth.com. Welcome to the Anytime Fitness Gym in Hornby, Christchurch, in the South Island of New Zealand. Today I'm going to take you through my shoulders and arms workout routine. I've had a lot of requests for this, so I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it straightforward and to the point and uh, not keep you guys too long, so let's jump straight into it. First exercise, compound, is three sets of seated shoulder press. Um, this was 32 kilos, going for three sets of nine. Managed to get uh, the first two sets to nine, third set only got to seven. So see if I can get uh, eight for the next one. But yeah, always aim to keep your wrists right above your elbows. So don't go in or out. Also make sure you go down to about ear height. Uh, not any lower really because that will really damage your uh, shoulders from extending too much. Next I went into standing lateral raises with the dumbbells. I've actually dro dropped the weight a bit for this one. I used to do like 18 kilos. I've dropped to about 12 or 14 kilos on this one because I found I was activating my traps too much and my neck was hurting. So this one I got a much much better feeling in the shoulders just by reducing the weight a bit. Uh, arms slightly bent. Um, just to help me get the weight up a bit and you can do like one leg forward one leg back if you want uh, But this is really really good for the side of your shoulders to build width So always making sure you kind of treat it like you're pouring out water Okay, you want to keep your elbows high and your thumbs angled slightly down like you're pouring out a jug of water and that will make sure the emphasis is on your shoulders and not on your biceps because a lot of people have their thumbs pointed upwards when they do this exercise and it's all on their biceps so you've got to make sure you keep your elbows high keep your elbows above your wrists if you can and always keep kind of pouring that water out for this i was going for about uh 12 reps so three sets of 12. i think i managed to get two sets of 12 with that 12 kilos so this is 14 kilos see if i can get to 12 on this one with good form without kind of swinging or jerking or you know using momentum or anything like that and yeah felt pretty good got a really good pump out of it really really feeling the shoulders um <laughs> you see i've got my eyes closed there really focusing on the shoulders making sure i'm actually making it hit the right spot you know not using cheating or anything like that so really really good exercise and really enjoying that exercise for shoulders next i tried this uh kind of reverse fly machine for rear delts um but i see you see they're like yeah, my i'm using my back quite a bit i feel like i'm contracting my back during this exercise and i felt like my back was doing quite a lot of the work so um i actually do after did a couple of sets of this and then i switched to um the back to the dumbbells so when you do rear delts make sure you try and rotate your arms around your shoulder joint using your shoulders and try not to activate your back because you want all the activation to go through your shoulders if you can not through your back so i switched to doing rear delt and uh with the dumbbells really really much much better i'm really focusing on keeping my body my upper body as still as possible um and keeping the wrists forward really because if i bring my wrists and my elbows backwards down the body i'm going to start using my back again to do the movement so keep your elbows forwards i'm kind of like doing like a forward diving movement with my arms um, and that just keeps my elbows up in line with my shoulders and making sure all the contractions are going through the shoulders and onto the rear delts and not with the back so when you do that rear delt exercise pull it backwards but have a look at yourself in the mirror and make sure your elbows are not going over your lower back or even your mid back they need to go right over your shoulders and again you can do that pouring the jugs technique to make sure your elbows stay high and it's not on your biceps and that was my shoulders just three solid exercises really intense and i'm onto arms so for this one this is a really good variation that i've come up with where i'm leaning forwards because if you stand vertical you get to the top of the rep and you are resting effectively so i'm leaning forwards here keeping my elbow locked in place doing the contraction all through the biceps so even at the top of that movement when i'm really really squeezing hard and pausing and contracting i still have a lot of tension on the bicep so there's no point during this where i don't have tension on the bicep 
really really good um, from that I'm going straight into kettlebell curls so to speak so by having a narrow grip here I'm basically training the outer part of the bicep because the biceps has two sets two parts so supersetting the barbell with this really make sure you get really good overall development so here's another angle for you guys so leaning forwards back is solid you know not rounding the back nice flat back keeping the elbows still and I'm basically trying to touch my my eyes or my my forehead going up pause squeeze breathing out as I go up and then letting it go back down really controlling to make sure I'm not using my uh, shoulders to rotate my elbows not leaning up you know keeping it really really controlled um, I found I had to actually drop the weight from 35 to 30 kilos to do this exercise because otherwise I'd be swinging so really don't be afraid to drop the weight if it means you're gonna activate the muscles better it's a really really tough exercise this one I showed a mate after this and he found it really tough could only do a fraction of the weight that he normally did and this one I was so exhausted I could only get six reps or so out of this uh, second bit of the supersets so <laughs> it was really crazy pump at this point so here's the third one um, I was going for about three sets of nine kilo uh, three sets of nine reps on this exercise I think I got nine reps on the first one and then about seven reps on the second and third set so next time I'll do the same weight and aim to maybe get eight reps or so to try and improve and get all the way up to 999 and then I'll increase the weight really 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 tough exercise really good superset but that's it from biceps that's all I do for biceps uh, but remember I'm doing the whole body twice a week so my split is <laughs> I've had amazing progress with this split um, it really does show that less is more sometimes uh, when it comes to this for triceps I got this new belt brand new belt uh, the dipping belt that I got from the shop because I really wanted to get back into dips for compounds so I'm um, just warming up here with 20 kilos going all the way down now when you want to do triceps with these dips keep your legs forwards if you do chest with dips you keep your legs back so you're putting emphasis on your chest but we want to take emphasis off the chest here and we want to put it on the triceps so the way to do that is to make your body as vertical as it can be because then there's no pushing away movement it's all through the arms only so elbows go straight back and try and get your body as vertical as you can it is hard because you've got to counteract that weight I'm on to 40 kilos now so I'm going for about nine reps or so um, it's pretty hard but yeah try and keep your body as vertical as possible keep your head up and um, yeah try and keep the emphasis off the chest you'll really feel it again you may have to drop the weight a bit but that's it so that's my workout guys uh, took about an hour real intense hope you like it cheers